Okay, welcome guys to this uh, slightly unusual video for me. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how you can set up OBS to record stuff for the Pixturia Minecraft server. Uh, yeah, this might still be interesting to some people outside of the server, but this is just kind of my explanation to everybody who would like to contribute footage to like events and videos and stuff. So this is my OBS, how it looks like for me, for you. It might look a little bit different, but you're going to download OBS Studio, I think it's called. I'm going to put the correct download link in the video description. Um, I'm using OBS, or you should probably also use OBS, because it's fairly simple. I mean, it, it, fairly simple, but very powerful, basically. So there are a lot of options, but uh, they make it possible to tweak everything. Uh, so you have a good and high quality. Also, OBS is just available on all major platforms, that's Linux mac os and windows uh, so this is how it kind of looks like for me right now in the beginning i think it looks a little bit different there aren't any scenes configured i think that's what we could probably start with so you go into the plus and then you say you can uh, add a new scene and now you can't see anything because now uh, this is black but yeah now you can click on that i'm going to delete mine again because i already have a scene uh, and then you can set up these sources. So the default ones here are uh, the desktop capture. This is, uh, yeah, I mean, it depends on your platform. I think they are called a little bit differently in different uh, platforms. On Linux, it's a little bit, there are a few more things, I think, than on Windows, but uh, you'll be able to figure it out. Um, so that the screen capture just captures, well, uh, an entire screen, basically. So that's simple enough. What we want to do for Minecraft, though, uh, we want to do uh, window capture on Linux or for you on Windows, it's uh, a game capture, basically. So this is just uh, create new. You can give it a name if you want to. Or you also don't need to do that. And uh, then it just picks a, a random window here. So this is my Firefox or yeah, you can also use like any window in here. Uh, Minecraft would also pop up in here, but for me, I don't have Minecraft launched right now. So uh, yeah, that is another thing. I'm going to delete mine here again. Uh, yeah, down here on the minus is the easiest one. You always have some settings here if you go onto like the the settings thing. Uh, so you can choose what screen you want to record, for example, here. Uh, but that's not too interesting. Yeah, just use the, the game capture for Minecraft. That's the best thing, because then you don't have any like pop-ups from Steam or notifications popping up or stuff like that, which uh, makes this a little bit nicer looking. Uh, the important thing that we have to take a look at is the settings. If you go into the settings, then, well, you get some general options here. So you can set your language, you can set the theme to dark, and uh, yeah, some things here that aren't really important. I just never set anything there. We're not going to stream yet, <laughs> maybe in the future, who knows. Uh, but yeah, you'd also don't have to do that. Output, uh, yeah, there's the output mode up there. This is basic for like, default but you want to set that to advanced then you can go into the recording tab and there you uh, can choose a few different settings so the type you can just leave that as is uh, you give it a path this is where the, the video files will be stored uh, recording format so there you want to choose MKV um, you may have never heard of that and you might be inclined to just click on mp4 but mp4 has a bit of a disadvantage against mkv so if your obs just crashes or your computer like shuts down hard basically when anything happens that means that obs can't really like nicely finish up the mp4 file then the file is basically lost maybe you have luck and you're able to recover it but you're mostly screwed and your entire recording is gone just because maybe in the last five minutes your computer blue screened or whatever. Uh, with MKV, uh, that isn't a problem. The, then you still have the video all up until uh, where it is, the recording died. Uh, audio track, you can leave that as is. Encoder is pretty important as well. Um, 
yeah, so there you should probably choose something like NVIDIA NVENC if you have it, if you have an RTX graphics card or some of the uh, latest gen uh, GTX cards as well, then you also have a new NVENC encoder maybe. On Linux, this is a little bit more uh, complicated to get that in there. Um, yeah. But NVENC essentially means that it uses your GPU for accelerating the encode, and uh, you maybe also have something for AMD GPUs. You have, if you have an Intel GPU inside of your CPU, then you have maybe like a quick sync here available as well. Or if you have nothing of that, you just have X264, which is, uh, which means that the CPU is encoding the, the video. If you have to use X264, uh, then you get also some settings here, which I now can't show because, well, I'm running a recording right now. I probably should have like opened up a separate OBS window. Um, there you can choose the, the quality. Oh yeah, down here you have that. Uh, for X264, this will look a little bit differently. They will have like super fast, ultra fast, slow and stuff like that. You want to keep that as like super fast or ultra fast. Uh, for all I know is that the quality difference isn't actually that high and it just makes it a lot easier on your CPU. Uh, you're not going to rescale the output. Your uh, rate control I use just to CBR, which is a constant bit rate. So that means that uh, you're always at this at this bit rate and you're not uh, having like a variable bit rate. The bit rate essentially just is how much data gets encoded every second. So this is uh, with a 250,000 250, kilobits per second. That means that uh, OBS has, well, 250 kilobits of, of data per second that it can use up. So the lower this is, the more compressed uh, your video will look like, and also the worse it will look like. Uh, I want to keep that pretty high here because we are just going to re-render that in the end as well again and uh, starting up uh, here with a low bit rate and then encoding it again and the quality just gets even worse and then YouTube does its own encoding again and then yeah you just have like a pixel soup at the end soup pixel soup yeah uh, yeah so I just like constant bit rate and 250,000 kilobits per second. If you have a slow internet connection, uh, especially slow upload, then yeah, you can do like a lower one as well, like 50,000 maybe is also fine, probably more than fine. And yeah, with 50,000, you have a, a lot smaller file size, obviously, so you have to upload less video. Um, yeah, you may have some presets there. Typically, they don't matter too much. Uh, here we can leave it high as is. And yeah, most of the settings don't really matter. Just kind of the ones that I talked about. Audio, you can also just leave that as is. We don't need any replay buffer as well. Uh, audio, here you have to set up uh, your your audio devices. So that's just your microphone. We're not going to record desktop audio because when we are recording videos together, then uh, yeah, you also have your OBS sounds in there, and then I have like OBS sounds of everyone, and that is uh, not what I want. Um, so, yeah, you can set your desktop audio to default and your mic or auxiliary audio also to default. And then you can just mute the desktop audio whenever you don't need it. Uh, the rest also doesn't really matter. Uh, video is also important. Uh, here you want to set all the resolutions to the resolution of your main screen. Uh, yeah, simple enough. And FPS values, you put that to 60 FPS. And then this is all uh, nice high quality. Hotkeys doesn't really matter. Advanced, there you can do stuff like the file names that they are called. Don't really need to do that. What I would advise you to enable is this uh, little thing, which means automatically remax to MP4. What this does is it uh, does the remaxing process, which is converting from the MKV to an MP4 file automatically after you hit stop recording, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, that doesn't take a, a lot of time, this is just like putting the H.264 video in a different container essentially, so just reads the file and writes it again, so it doesn't have to like re-render it or anything like that. Um, yeah. 
other than that, this is uh, also not really that important. You can leave the, the rest here as is, basically. Um, yeah, and that's kind of how you use OBS. Down here you can see your audio sources stuff. You can enable, disable desktop audio and your microphone. Uh, yeah, it's best if you can see that like in the in the yellow range here, uh, then the audio should be fine uh, from the volume. But I will in, in post uh, level these anyways, or try to level them somehow. Or maybe use Discord audio, just uh, we'll see how I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm not really sure about that myself yet. Um, other than that, if you have any questions about OBS, uh, just reach out to me. I'm happy to happy to help. And if you plan on uh, contributing footage, then first off, thank you a lot. That will uh, make for really cool videos, I hope. And uh, second of all, it would be really nice if you could just like test before, so you uh, know if it's like hogging down your performance too much or what we can maybe change about it. And as I said, if you need any help, just reach out to me. So thank you all guys for watching this. And see you all maybe in another video, hopefully on Pixteria, a video with the entire crew together or something. We'll see. Bye bye.